Oh! 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 There you go! Yeah, that's all right! What's that's your name, man? Bryce Groves. Where are you from? Alpharetta, Georgia. What class are you in? 2014. Do you have any offers? Uh, I have two right now. Holy, Holy Cross and UAB. You gotta, what do you go. play? Oh, I'm outside linebacker. Outside your Strong side. So, so you, you're an upcoming seaman, right? Yes, sir. Right, so keep, hey, man, name, what's, what's some goals, man, you have set for your senior season? Uh, I'm going to be a leading tackler on my team, over 100 tackles, and just do work out there, make some big hits, make some plays. We're here at Southfield High School for the Sign Mind Sound Body Camp, standing here with Tyrone Wheatley. And if you people don't know who Tyrone Wheatley is, he comes from the city of Inkster in Michigan. And he attended the University of Michigan and played for the New York Giants in the NFL and then ended his career with the Oakland Raiders. He's now coaching the Bills, and we're here live at the Sign Mind Sound Body Camp. Tell me, where do you contribute to this camp? Well, hopefully right now, just all just time, right? Right now, time is what these kids need. And when you say contributing, and that's what they need, Time and effort. That's it. Well, you know, really, if there was one main thing I would tell them to get ready for college is, is academics. You know, no matter how great of an athlete you are, no matter, you know, all the everybody could bench press so many pounds, run a certain time in 40, but the key to that door to get there is academics. So you got to really, really hone in on those academics and do what you need to do. Now, there's, you know, there are other routes to you know, junior college, but I always call that the pool of sharks. You're in a shark tank, now you're going to JC, man, because now you're there with guys who are trying to get that second chance and they're trying to get out, and that's that crab bucket, baby. You don't want to go there. You know, it's so much going on from the time when I was playing, you know, to now. It's so much going on with these guys and, and, and so many things that can affect them. So right now it's just priorities. What are your priorities? Number one priority should be whatever, you know, A, B, C, D. And then after you get your priorities in order, have a plan. You know, you got to have a plan. Make sure you have a plan. I told them also... Go online and know what it is to have a business plan. What is a business plan? You know, business plan also says, okay, location. Where do I want to go to school? Business plan also tell you who's your rivalry, who's out there competing against you. I'm competing against myself first and foremost every day and then the next person and so on and so forth. Competition is just not locally. This is global. As you guys, the city ballers know, you've been in Memphis. You go to L.A. You guys go everywhere and you see some incredible ballers. It's just not locally what you see. This thing is global. So, you know, I tell them. First and foremost, you got to prioritize. You know, got to prioritize. And then second of all, have a plan. Have a plan. So, Wheatley, you left a legacy behind. You You played college football. You excelled at football. You played in the NFL. And there's a lot of talent here. Kids all over the country have came to this camp. What would you tell these kids, you know, to leave a legacy behind? What would you tell them some goals they need to set for themselves to get where you've been? Honestly, you know what? At, at, it's really the, the, it's a hard answer to que I mean, question to answer because – while you're going through it, you're really not thinking about a legacy. While you're going through it, you're thinking about trying to be the best that you can be. And, and, and on top of that, so the work I put in yesterday, I got to be better than I was yesterday and so on and so forth. And as you as you so-called, we call stack those chips at the end of the day. And when it's all over, said and done, then that's how the legacy is built. But you never get lazy. You never get, you know what I'm saying, hum you, you humble, but you never relax. It's never over because, as you well know, there's a kid at Sound Mind, Sound Body that saw a kid said, oh, that kid's the best. Then that kid goes home. He wants to be the best. So every day and every year, there's someone coming to strive to be better than you. So first and foremost, as I said, I'm competing every day, and the first person I got to compete against is myself. Okay. I want to be better than what I was yesterday okay. and so on and so forth. And then after that, then you got to watch out for those who are coming after you. And like I say, once that's finished, then the legacy is laid. The foundation is there. Yeah, how do you feel about sign mile, sign mile, sign body count? How do you feel about that? You know what? I, here's the deal. It's the answer to the test, plain and simple. You have college coaches that's coming out here telling you exactly what they're looking for, telling you exactly what to do and what not to do. It's almost like I say, these are the teachers, and they're writing the answers on the board right before the exam, the final exam. And this is the answer. Everybody says, man, I wish I had a crystal ball. This is the crystal ball, fellas. 
This is important. As they say, this is just about it's the body. It's about the mind as well. Because you're an investment. You know, that's exactly what they're looking for. You're an investment. And just like a stock, man, if you got extra money and you got money and you want to, you know, invest in something, you're not going to invest in a bad stock that crashed, will you? You want something that's going to continue to rise and return on your investment. And that's what these coaches are looking for. And they're giving you the answers, kids. This, this is the crystal ball, man. This is what this, this should be called. Sound mind, sound body, crystal ball. Thank you so much, Tyrone Wheatley. It's Charles Boyd at the Sound Mind, Sound Body Camp. Good luck to your season, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Standing here with John Wrangler, the U of M quarterback. Hey, tell me something about yourself, man. Uh, we're just, uh, I work with Adidas now, and I'm, uh, we're happy to be part of this community, and we're able to uh, support these kids and give them a lot of uniforms and uh, shoes and cleats to be able to participate in this camp, and it's one of the top camps in the country, as you mentioned. Uh, we got a lot of great college uh, representation here, Michigan, Michigan State, Ohio State, uh, Wisconsin, Western Michigan, Eastern Central. We got a ton of schools here. These kids get great exposure. They're able to go against top competition. Uh, we have 150 kids here who have Division I scholarship offers, uh, and it, they're able to showcase themselves in front of these college coaches in a great venue and a great atmosphere. Uh, the good thing about this camp is they can see the level that they have to get go against and where they got to get to. We have a bunch of five and four star kids here who have gotten great scholarship offers. So a lot of these kids have not been exposed to that kind of talent. So they can see where they have to do. They got to keep working. They got to push themselves every day to try to get to that next level and to be, earn a scholarship. And uh, this gives them a great uh, bar to go against and to see where they stand and, and what they have to do to be able to get to that next level. Hey, we're live at Sound Mind, Sound Body in Southfield, Michigan with the Cali Boys. Come all the way from California to perform at this Sound Mind, Sound Body camp. I'm sitting here with the MVP, Stanley Norman. Hey, man, tell me how, how does it feel to be the MVP of the camp? It feel good. It feel, it's joyful. It's, I appreciate it. Came out here and worked hard with my guys, and we just prepared all this week. Hey, Stanley, so how does it feel, man, to come all the way from California and put on for your city? How does it feel? I feel good. That's what I'm supposed to do, represent from L.A. Came, I came this far. I'm, I didn't want to, I ain't going to waste my dad money. So, you know, I got to make my money's worth out here. That's what I kept telling them. That's why I got to get my reps, get my money's worth. So I, I hear you're pretty versatile. You play cornerback and wide receiver. Tell me what made you so much different than everyone else that gave you MVP. Because I'm going to dominate wherever I'm at. If, I, if offense don't work out, I'm going to go on defense and dominate. If defense don't work out, I'm going to dominate on offense. You seem to have such a relentless attitude out there on the field, man. So tell me, what are your goals for your junior season? This is a severe year for you. What are your goals that you have to get ready for the next level? I'm trying to get all state again. All state, all CIF, all league, first team again. And I I'm, I'm just want to dominate. And I want, I want to get my name known throughout the country. I want to be five star before I graduate. That's my. Hey, Norman, do you have any offers? Yes, sir, I got six. I just got one recently today. That's it, man. Here at City Ballers, it's Charles Boyd. We're live.